Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolk. And today, I'm here with my week one picks. I know you've been waiting for it. Been waiting all through the long winter and spring for the picks to come back. <laughs> And I'm here this week with week one. Week one, man. Now, if you recall last year, my record ended up, my regular season record, ended at 151 and 102 for a 597 pick percentage. And this year, we're going to try to beat that. I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to try to say, hey, I can beat that record. And hopefully I can. So... We will be starting in with it, and that starts with Thursday, September 10th. The first game is the Texans going to Kansas City. Kansas City, here I come. And this is the matchup right here, and guess what? Yeah, it's going to be Kansas City. Let's just say yes and we'll move on. There's no way the Texans are beating Kansas City. I don't see it happening. Kansas City is the defending world champions. I know the Texans got out to a 24-0 lead on them in the playoffs last year, but I don't think that's going to be happening again. So the next one we got is the Packers going to visit the Vikings. And yeah, yeah, log it in. We're going with the Vikes. You can't handle the truth. We're going with the Vikes on that one. I think they're going to win the uh, NFC North, as a matter of fact. And uh, the Packers really didn't do anything in the offseason to address their offensive woes. And so I don't think that they are going to maintain that um, level of excellence that they had last year. The 13-3 and three that they had last year, that was a mirage. Not happening this year. They're going down to the Vikings. So the next one we've got is... The Browns at the Ravens. Now, this is really a huge mismatch. So I'm going to take the Ravens on that one, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, the Ravens, they're just way too good. The, you know, and there's no way. And, you know, um, it's, I mean, the Browns are just not there yet. You know, they, they really aren't. And Baker Mayfield is, he still has a lot to show. And he has to concentrate more on football than on doing progressive commercials. So, yeah, go with the Ravens in that one. Now you've got the Raiders at the Panthers. Now, the Panthers are home in this one. But I'm still going to go with the Raiders on that. Yeah, take the Raiders. There's no way. I mean, the uh, the Panthers just don't have it. They, uh, they've they lost some guys, as a matter of fact. Their quarterback from last year went to the Redskins. Their quarterback from two years ago went to the Patriots. So, yeah, not happening. Uh, the next one we've got is the Seahawks um, and... The Falcons, and this is another one where, although the Seahawks are visiting the Falcons, I'm still going with the Seahawks. Yeah, take the Seahawks, get out of here, Falcons. Not happening. So, yeah, the Seahawks are just way better. They're going to maybe even contend for the NFC West division title this year. I don't think they're going to get there, but they're going to contend for it. While, meanwhile, the Atlanta Falcons are going to be contending for the first pick in the draft next year. So that's where we are with that. Now you got the Chargers against the Bengals. And the Chargers are the visiting team. Not only are they the visiting team, but I think that with Joe Burrow, yeah, I think the, the uh, Bengals are a vastly improved team. I'm going to go with the Bengals in that one, um, especially if Burrow's had a chance to really acclimate himself. 
So I would say go that in that direction with that. And then we've got the, uh, the Bucks visiting the Saints. Now this is going to be a good one. This is going to be all, you know, all fall and winter. This is going to be a battle for the NFC South. But I'm still going with the Saints in this one. The, uh, the Buccaneers are the visiting team. And even though they have Tom Brady and Gronkowski and whoever else they can collect off the free agent list, uh, Brady is aging for one. And he still has the problem that he had into New in New England where he just throws to a spot. And he expects his receivers always to be in that spot. He doesn't adjust on the fly to where the receiver actually is. And uh, that's going to be a problem. Drew Brees, though, we know about Drew Brees, Brees, don't we? Yeah. So, the next one I've got over here is the, um, the Jets at the Bills. Now, this one should be an easy one. It's the Battle of New York, or one of the Battles of New York, or one of the possible Battles of New York. But yeah, you got to go with the Bills in this one. The Bills might actually even win the AFC East this year, whereas the Jets are not going to win much at all. So I'm going to go with, I mean, and that's a game that the Bills, if the Bills expect to win the AFC East, that's a game they've got to win. So the next one we have is the Eagles visiting Washington. I'm going to show this from the front because um, I have my old, shall we say, Redskins helmet, which um, I have not gotten the new updated Washington Football Club helmet. So we're going to go with the Eagles here, even though they are visiting Washington. I just don't see the Washington Football Club being able to beat the Eagles. The Eagles actually... I have picked to win the NFC East if you went back and you saw that. So there's no way they should lose to the worst team in their own division. Uh, the next one we've got is the Colts against the Jags. Now, the Colts expect the Colts to be a vastly improved team and expect the Jags to be a vastly unimproved team. So we're going to go with the Colts on this. There's just no way that the Colts are losing to the Jaguars. The Jaguars have actually sold off or traded a ton of people in this off this, this off season and dating back to last year. Some of their best players, like AJ Bowie, so um, and in Gonkwe. So just don't really expect much from the Jags. Now we've got an interesting one here. We got the. Um, got the Bears, my Bears, at the Lions. Now, who am I going to pick in this one? Do you know? I'm going to pick the Lions. Yeah, baby! Return the beer keg. Cancel the dancing girl. Alright, yeah. I mean, I'm not excited about it. I shouldn't be anyway. But I am picking the Lions because I've heard a nasty rumor that the Bears intend to start the season with Trubisky. And uh, that's that alone right there is bad news. And the Lions are a vastly improved team. And the Lions are at home. So the Lions are a team that I could see um, the Bears probably maybe splitting with. And if you're going to pick a split, you might as well say that when they're at the other team's home, they're going to lose. Now, I, I hope I'm wrong. I absolutely hope I'm wrong on that and that the Bears actually come out and win the game. That would be great. I would be ecstatic, even though I would be wrong on one of my picks, which I don't ever like to be. But I got to go with the Lions on this one. I just got to go. I got to think, you know, until I can see that the Trubisky plan, first of all, that it is the Trubisky plan, and that second of all, the Trubisky plan is going to work, I've I got to go with the Lions on that. Um, is as long as Matthew Stafford is healthy, that offense can put up a lot of points. Uh, the next one we've got is the Dolphins at the Patriots. 
And yeah, I mean, what are we talking about here? We're going to go with the Patriots. They've got uh, experience. They still have a lot of their players back from last year. And they have Cam Newton now at quarterback, which, as I have said in my AFC East preview video, might even be better for them to have Cam Newton at quarterback than to have Tom Brady. Now, I know, I know the Patriots fans are out there. They're all up in arms about that statement. But I think it actually could work out much better for them. So expect the Patriots to be every bit as good as they were at least last year. And uh, so now we're going to move on to the um, Cardinals going to San Francisco. Now, you got the Cardinals going to San Francisco, and San Francisco was the NFC champions last year. So I'm going with San Francisco. Yeah. Get the Cardinals out of here. Um, they, the Cardinals, I think, are an up-and-coming team, but they're not ready to beat the NFC champs. There's just no way that they're, they're ready for that. Now you got the Cowboys against the, uh, the Rams. And uh, this game is in L.A., but it doesn't really matter. I'm going Cowboys. The Cowboys, I am picking to have not a very good season this year. Maybe 7-9, and nine, maybe 8-8. Eight and eight. But they should still be able to beat the Rams. You know what I'm saying? So that brings us to the Titans against the Broncos. And... Uh, the Titans are on the road in this one, and the Broncos are at home. I And this is the Monday night game. But this is one of two Monday night games because, as we know, the NFL likes to do that stupid thing where the first week they have two Monday night games, and this is one of them. I think this might actually even be the uh, later of the two. Um, but I'm going to go with the Broncos in this one. I think the Broncos are an up-and-coming team, and I'm not so sure that the Titans are every bit as good as they looked last year in the playoffs. And in fact, they had to rally late in the season for a lot of wins just to get to the playoffs. And that brings us to the final game of the week this week. Also a Monday night game, probably going to be the first one. But don't quote me on any of that. We've got the Steelers at the Giants. And again, even though the Steelers are on the road, I'm going with the Steelers. Yeah. Get the Giants out of here. So, yeah, the uh, Giants are not going to beat the Steelers. I think that the Giants also, if you saw my NFC East video, the Giants are a team that's on the road up, I think. Um... Uh, Daniel Jones, he's got a year under his belt. He's getting better. But I just don't think they're ready to beat a veteran Steeler team, even at home, even in week one, when there has been very few teams playing against each other. So that's what I got. What do you guys think? You like those picks? Do you think I'm going to go, like, maybe, you know, get 11, maybe 12 right in that group? I mean, I hope so. But, uh, yeah, those are the picks I got, and uh, we'll see how accurate they are. But remember, give me a like, leave a comment below. Um, the comment can be what you think all the picks are going to be. That's fine. You can play along. We can all play along all year long and see if you can beat the sportsman. How about that? So we'll see how I do. But uh, those are my picks, and I'm sticking to them. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off week one.